G'day everybody, Peter here from RV Finders again today. Yes, and we're getting really, really close to springtime, and that is the time to get out there and enjoy yourself in such a great, great new motorhome that I've got here for you today. And, a lot, and this one ticks really a lot of boxes, because a lot of people want them small, compact, but yes, have an island bed in the back. So I'm going to take you around quickly and have a quick look about what this motorhome really makes it so special. Alright, it is a Carrado built on the 2.2 liter Fiat engine and chassis. So it's a Carrado make, it's a German make. So if you follow me, I can show you around. It's 130 horsepower, 2.2 liter as I said, really nice decals. Now, the reason for the price of these vehicles is actually because the manufacturing process. So the quality is really good. Um, over here, it's got a lot of extras too. We'll get to that in a moment. That's your your power point, your 240 outlet, really nice great entry door. You've got your vents for the uh, fridge freezer and then also a uh, awning light and the awning. So it's a three meter awning and as well on the top there you can see it's got an automatic dish. Now those di dishes, as probably most of you know, will cost in the region of $3,000 to fit. It's got a very nice uh, 17 liter and you can see the condition is really great. Uh, toilet cassette, head fit. If we come around, now this is the great part. Okay, I'm just going to go run to the other side. In the meantime, have a look at this. Really, it's got nice vents if you want to put any dogs or cats or whatever inside. And there you go. Hello there. So yeah, you can see it comes with carpets, it's got a spare wheel, and it is on a warrant to fit this with quite a lot of payload. We'll get to that in the later stage. But reverse camera, nice brake light there. And a really nice uh, decal. Over this side, it's got the power point here. The power cable, sorry, the wastewater cable. Uh, it's got 120 liters fresh, 90 gray, two 9 kg gas bottles. So that can take you off the grid for quite a couple of weeks. And over here is your jack unit, over there. And then these are pretty nice because you can just swivel them around to the other side and then tie down everything inside so that it doesn't uh, move around while you're traveling okay so very easy lockable got the Truma vent there it's all double glazed really good condition for a 2015 model and then your water as I said 120 liters so let's jump into the other side and then we'll see what the vehicle is all about on the inside please follow me Okay, so now we are at this lovely entry door and let's step inside. Welcome to the Corrado T339. It is a 2 plus 1 berth and the electric step really nicely popped out. So please follow me oh, before we enter. Really great fly screen door. Beautiful. Especially for the West Coast, all the sand flies. So normally um, we go to the back and then we'll work our way to the front. So please... Step inside to this humble, beautiful bedroom. Now this bedroom is really great. Um, because at the moment you can see it's got two wardrobes. It's got a really nice big wardrobe on this side. Same on that side. It's got storage up there plenty. It's got reading lights that can move and swivel a bit. And then also this bed. As you can see with a 7 meter bed there's a bit of a restriction. Now the bed at the moment is 1.8, around about 1.85 meters. So there is a bit of a restriction, but it's really a nice bed and it's really comfortable. Now, if you look at the bottom here, a lot of people want to store their, um, their shoes and stuff because it's lying all over the place. Now, look at that. Really nice little hatch uh, to put that in. Now, if we look at the shower unit, now this is right, really, really great because the shower unit actually um, is quite that you have a little bit more space in a seven meter motorhome with an island bed. Now you only remove this, you just lift this up, move it aside, or you can put it on the other side, and then you can move this door and this one across. So I'll get inside quickly, but no, I think I'll stay outside. But um, basically these two just clip together like that, and you've got a very nice big shower. Okay, magnetic, magnetic clips there, and then you just push it back. And put the infill again, and you're ready off to travel, and these won't swivel and rattle too much. Okay. 
And we also got up here where you can hang up your clothes, so it's like a drying rack. So you can put some coat hangers up here and and hang stuff up here like uh, clothes and that to get uh, to dry out. Okay, and over there, this is quite amazing because at night you don't have to pull even the curtains in the front. This acts as a privacy a privacy door and uh, also a place for curtains and stuff. The toilet is a swivel seat, so you can swivel it around. And as you can look around there, there's a lot of storage in this little wee motorhome. A lot of storage down there, and the flush unit and the basin. Okay, so if you want to have a look there, side over there. Cool. Okay, so, now like I said, you can just open this, uh, close this door, and now we can enter the kitchen area. There's a bit of a step down. It's just to give you a lot more height. You can see I'm about 1.8. Really a lot of headroom here in this motorhome. You've got this very nice little extractor fan. And you've got a three burner gas hob. That's a nice round basin for your plates. Now these things I really love. Because all the gunk and stuff doesn't go down into your wastewater. It actually gets into uh, caught up in here. And you can just chuck it out in the bin. Really awesome stuff. So... The only thing that you enter, empty is basically the, just a bit of dirty water, okay? So they all come with the fly screen and the screens, and it's adjustable. And then obviously here we've got an oven and a grill, really big size oven for a motorhome. Okay, really big size. Then you I've got over here, you've got some more st storage as well for your cutlery and crockery. You've got a nice bin, and this goes all the way in. So it's quite nice all the way in. I don't know if you can see that far in. It's really very deep in there. <laughs> so, over here we got the tit fit. Okay, we have to do the motorhome shuffle. So over here, we've got the tit fit fridge freezer. It's 165 liters, so it's pretty much pretty, pretty big. And really this freezer works amazingly well. And then this is the fun part. So this television, it's a 19 inch RSE TV plus a DVD player. It's so easy to pull out all the way and then swivel it around. So look at that. You can lie in bed, watch the telly. Not a problem at all. Yeah, and then if you want to watch it in the lounge area with the captain's seats in the back, you'll just, oh sorry, in the front, you will just slide it off uh, into that position over there. There's some place here for uh, if you want to put DVDs or whatever you would like to put on. Oh, there the TV goes on. I'll just switch it off. Sorry, hit the wrong button. Okay, so now we'll move into this lovely little lounge. Now the lounge is really, I think, for a 7 meter motorhome, it's quite not enough. You can drop this down and make a wee little bed here. This whole area comes into why one person can basically sleep in this area over here. But as you can see... S swivel seats and the seats are adjustable so you can actually um, just push it up or down and the same in the front up or down okay so yeah i mean the same over here it's just the normal fiat cab it has got the six speed auto gearbox and this is quite neat and tidy you can lift it up and you can put an ipad or a phone here that you use uh, normally people use that as they map their gps and uh, yeah, so if you want to know more about this lovely, lovely seven meter compact island bed model, uh, please contact me, Peter, on uh, uh, rvfinders.co.nz or go and trade me. All our listings is on there. We don't just have these. We've got single bed versions, French bed versions. And if we don't have it, we'll find it. So please, that is what we're all about. rvfinders.co.nz. And yeah. Looking forward to hearing from you soon. Have a lovely day. Cheers.